integrate one uh, uh, integrate two x cubed over four plus x to the power eight dx. So I'm going to do a substitution. Uh, so this is same as two uh, x cubed over four plus x to the power four the whole squared. Okay, now the substitution is x to the power of 4 is t, uh, which implies uh, which implies d by differentiating both sides with respect to or using the derivative operator, d by dx of x to the power of 4 is equal to d by dx of t. d by dx of x to the power of 4 is 4x cubed is equal to d by dx of t is nothing but dt by dx. Now, making dx the subject or uh, you get uh, uh, dx is 1 over 4x cubed dt or you can cross multiply whichever way you understand. So in place of dx I can write 1 over 4x cubed dt. Okay now what happens? Now this is what is the question. So this changes to 1 over 2x cubed. 2x cubed remains 2x cubed over 4 plus t squared times dx is 1 over 4x cubed dt. So this x cube and this x cube gets cancelled and this is 2 quarters uh, which becomes half. So which is nothing but half. Okay now I've done two steps in fact. Uh, what I've done is I want this 4 to become 1. So I divided by 4 both the denominators. So 4 by 4 plus t squared over 4. So when you're dividing the denominator, in fact you're multiplying by 4. So this is the denominator's denominator will become the numerator. And to counter when this goes up, you got this sitting here to cancel that 4. So this step and this step are the same. So this becomes 1 8th of 1 over 1 plus t over 2 the whole squared dt. So this is completely in terms of dt. Now we can do a trick substitution. I'm taking t by 2 as tan alpha. So tan alpha is tan inverse of t by 2. Okay, so now if you make t the subject, I can write t is 2 tan alpha and differentiating with respect to alpha, it is 2 6 squared alpha. So dt is 2 6 squared alpha d alpha. Okay, so this is where this is this was the form, so I've rewritten that form 1 over 8, 1 over t squared t over 2 the whole squared dt is 1 over 8. T over 2 is 10 alpha, so it's 1 over 1 plus 10 squared alpha times dt is 2 6 squared alpha d alpha. Okay, so this 2 I have factored out or 2 times 1 8 is 1 quarter and 1 plus 10 squared is 6 squared times 6 squared alpha. So this becomes nothing but 1 over 4 times 1 d alpha and integration of 1 d alpha is alpha plus c. So it's 1 quarter and what is alpha? Alpha we saw, where did we see alpha? Uh, we did it, yeah. yeah, here it is. Alpha is 10 inverse of t by 2. So that is nothing but 1 quarter 10 inverse of t by 2. And t is, we started t with uh, x as t as x to the power of 4. The final answer is 1 quarter 10 inverse of x over 2 plus c. Now you can check, if you want to check whether the answer is right, you can differentiate this and get to the integral.